Hey guys, I'm back with another exciting tutorial and today I'm going to show you Microsoft Translator and its new feature, the offline saving voice feature. So uh, without further ado, let's see this interface. We have the voice search, we have the keyboard, the camera and uh, some other features that will work only with internet. But what I, like I said, today I'm going to show you the offline feature, which is very neat if you go to trips to Europe or other parts of the world and you need uh, additional voice that you don't want to use your online connection and save some data. So let's type in something in English here, like for example, dog. All right, and then we'll see that it's Hund in German. Very simple, right? Now let's try it in German to translate that from uh, German to English. All right, so you can see Hund is dog, very good. This is a very simple task, but what if we don't want to use this and want to use a picture, mainly the camera function. Now I dug up a sign in German and let's see how that translates with the camera app. All right, so just bear with me. My camera is shaky a bit. All right, so as you can see, this is a warning sign. Let's see what it says. It says enter prohibited. Parents should be uh, watching their children. But as you can see, the Lebensgefahr, which is life-threatening, did not translate very well. And uh, yeah, that's a Bing translation. So uh, same as Google translation, they are not 100% right. And the picture was shaky a bit, was not very clear. Let me try that one more time here. All right, let's see, enter prohibited. Yeah, it could not catch the Lebensgefahr. So unfortunately, uh, this is not 100% accurate. You will have to watch this. Uh, uh, camera function, uh, try to get a good light and whatever. Now as for the other features, like I said, you have voice function which needs internet and uh, the other chat function, whatever that is right there. Uh, yeah, but the main thing is you can use the camera and the translation and I will show you the offline packages available for download. So as you can see here, lots of lots of languages are available you can uh, pretty much uh, pick and choose which one you want to download. I took German and English because these are the main languages I use and I know. I will be traveling to Germany, so. Uh, but in your case, you can download any language you like, or from Germany, uh, Italy, I don't know, uh, Spain, uh, you know, uh, China, whatever, you name it. You can download them, and as you can see, they are small packages. So, mind you, uh, this will not take up much space on your smallest phone, like the 60 gigabyte version. Let me in the comment section below what you think about this. Also guys, if you like my videos, make sure you check out my other videos I made on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you want to stay up to date with everything I do, just hit the subscribe button and you will get notified of the latest updates. 